In this video, I am going to show you a few different ways to make comparisons between two columns in Google Sheets. So sometimes when you are working with large data sets, you may want to compare the values in two different columns or two different sheets. Um, you may want to compare the columns for things like matches, differences, duplicates, or make other comparisons. So I'm just going to show you a few different formulas and a few different ways that you can compare data from two different columns. So the very first thing I'm going to show is uh, just comparing the values in two different columns or two different cells for matches. And to do that, um, all we're really using is the equal sign. Um, to make a quick comparison. So in this example, I have a value in column one and I have a value at column two and I want to compare to see if the values are the same. So I am just going to do the equal sign. So equals does this cell equal this cell? And if it does, it's going to return to true. And if it doesn't, it's going to return false. So this may seem really simple, like you don't need a formula for, but imagine if this column is thousands of lines long, and then maybe the values in each column is a large string of numbers. You're not going to want to go through each line manually to figure out where the differences are. Instead, you could just do a basic formula like this, and then you could possibly sort your data to return either all the true ones or false ones at the top. Um, so just learning to use Google Sheets to make that kind of comparison instead of doing it manually is going to save you a lot of time when you're working with large data sets. So that is one easy way uh, just to make a quick comparison. Another way I'm going to show is using conditional statements. So in this example, we're going to be using the if function. So I have the basic syntax of the if function down here. Um, so the syntax is if, and then the first argument is the conditional statement. So you can do anything like equals, less than, greater than. And then the second argument in the function is the value or text if true and the third argument in the function is the value or text if false. So in this example I'm just going to compare whether the value in column A is greater than the value in column B. If A is greater I'm actually going to return the text A is greater and if B is greater I'm going to return the text B is greater. So equals if this is my conditional statement now is a greater than B and then if a is greater I'm going to return that text so you have to do it inside quotations here and then if B is greater we will do that So that is another way to make a quick comparison is using the if function and you can use conditional statements here and you can basically control what is output. Um, this first one will return if this conditional statement is true. The second one will return if this conditional statement is false. So you have control over what gets returned. And again, you can use this in combination with either sorting or conditional formatting to make it easy to sort through your data and make comparisons. Uh, so that's another way to compare the data from two different columns is using conditional statements or using the if function. The next example I'm going to show you is using the VLOOKUP function to compare data from two different columns. In this example, what I'm going to be doing is matching the data um, where the product code is the same. So in this example, I have a store ID, this is store 1A, I have product code and I have the sales for each product code. But then on an entirely different sheet I have a different store with the same product code and the sales. 
So what I want to do is I want to pull the data from the second store into this sheet and match it at the same product code so that I can compare the sales from each store. But you can see the product codes here aren't actually in order. So it's not like I can just uh, copy and paste the data in. I mean, I could if I sorted them both the same way, but we don't really need to do that. We can use the VLOOKUP function to match the sales for the product code here. So this is the basic syntax of the VLOOKUP function. Um, the first argument of the formula is the search key. So that's what are we searching for? And then it's the range that we are searching in, which I would end up searching in this range. And then it's the index or the column number that we're returning. So um, basically each column is the index number. So this would be like column one, two, three, four, five, etc. And then the last argument is is sorted. Uh, most times when you're using VLOOKUP, you want to use false for the is sorted argument. But to sh actually show you how this works, uh, let's do this. So equals VLOOKUP, and then I press tab to enter the formula. So again, the first argument is the search key. So what am I searching for? I'm searching for the different product codes. And then I put a comma. So the next argument is the range that I'm searching in. So I am searching this range. So whatever your search key is, my search key is product code. That should be the very first column in the range you're searching in. If I search in this range where I include A, the formula is not going to work properly. So then I'm going to lock this um, to take absolute values because I don't want this uh, changing. Well, actually, since I took the whole column, I don't really need to do that, but that's just a habit I have anyway. Um, so then I put a comma. So right now in this formula, I have, again, the search key, which is the product code. I have the range, which I'm looking up in this range on this other sheet. And then the next argument is the index. So what column do I want to return? So in this range, since I'm only looking in these two columns, this is column one, this is column two. So since I want to return the sales, which is in column two, I'm going to put two, and then we're going to do false. Um, and again, in general, whenever you use VLOOKUP, you will probably want to use false. Then I'm going to put my closing parentheses and I can copy and paste this formula down and it's matching my sales. So let's just make sure this is pulling right. So the first product code IB09 and the value is 43, IB0943. So you can see this is now just pulling the sales for this product code from this sheet. Um, so that is a very useful way to compare data from two different columns, particularly when the data exists on two different sheets. So now I can compare how store 1A is doing and how store 2B is doing um, with the VLOOKUP function. So that's a very useful one to learn if you don't know that already. Um, the next one I'm going to show, or the last one I'm going to show, is just uh, making a quick comparison among columns to identify duplicates. So in this example, I'm going to be using the count if function. I have two different columns with names. So I have a column A with the list of names and I have a column B with the list of names. So I want to know what names exist on both columns. So what I could do is I, again, I could do this manually. I could go Andy, okay, does Andy exist? Nope, Matt, does Matt exist? Yes, Seth, does Seth exist on both? No, but again, as you have larger and larger data sets, that's gonna take a long time. We can use a simple function like count if to quickly count which values exist on both columns. So this is the syntax of the count if function. There's only two arguments. The first argument is the range, 
that's the range of data you will be looking in. And the second argument is the criterion, which is the, uh, the criteria, basically what are you looking for in this range. What this does is it will count the number of times the criteria shows up in the range you're searching in. So we can use it to identify which values exist in both columns. Um, so to do that, count if, and then the first argument is the range. So I'm just looking up in this range. I always have a habit of locking these formulas with F4. And then comma, what am I gonna search for from this range or in this range? Uh, this is my criterion. So I'm searching for A2 Andy in this range. So if this criterion, if this exists in this range, then the formula is going to evaluate to one, or if it exists more than once, it'll evaluate to two. All this is doing is it's counting the amount of times this appears in this. So it, this does not appear in here, so it evaluates to zero. And then I can copy and paste this formula down. So you can see Matt does exist here. You can see it's right there and carry also exists in this range you can see it's here so that is how we can compare two columns for duplicate values so what you can do from here if you have a large data set and you want to uh, pull all the duplicate values out is after this you can just sort it so that all of the ones show up on the top and then you'll have your list of duplicates so that is another way to compare two columns for duplicate values is just using the count if function. So that's one I use a lot. You probably want to learn that. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I have shown a few different useful ways of comparing data from different columns in Google Sheets. Um, you really should take the time to learn all of the functions that I've covered here because as you learn them and gain comfort with these kind of functions, you can begin to make your own kinds of comparisons by combining these functions and using various sorting and filtering methods to pull out the data you need. Um, you end up being very efficient at comparing and sorting through large data sets when you gain comfort with some of these basic functions. So again, that's pretty much it for this video. Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.